What's up everybody? This is Tony Hole with Ash Lawn Care. Um, it's pretty cold out today. This is my first ever YouTube video. I'm uh, going to attempt to work in the lawn and show you guys what I do. I'm not an expert. I'm just a homeowner that watches a lot of uh, videos, takes in a lot of information, and I want to kind of make this channel more of a uh, informational uh, community where we discuss things more than me telling you how to do it. I'm willing to try anything. Uh, I've got my work cut out for me as you can see here. As you can see here I just had the south side completely regraded. It is a complete and total mud pit. Um, I have some water issues. You can see that dark area over there that's collecting all of the water that's coming down and then it's puddling right here so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do at this point I'm probably going to level it and go from there um, plant some seed and go from there we did have to add some dirt clear in the back uh, right here when we first turned the sprinkler systems on it uh, all the water just set right where we have the uh, dirt right there. So we had to bring in uh, about 12 bags of dirt to fill in this area. Looks like we've had some dogs or somebody walking around back here. So this will have to be flushed out with the roller too. So the front yard is pretty established. Uh, I have a Kentucky bluegrass that was put down. I bought it at my local Valley Feed and Seed, so it's supposedly, supposedly specific for Kansas. Um, I still have some leftover fescue in it. Uh, I have areas where they put in the new sprinkler heads uh, that look pretty bad. Same thing over here. So all of this, I'm hoping that the Kentucky bluegrass fills in. I did put my pre-emergent down on this area. So this area should not have any issues with crabgrass. I just have this section here which puddles water a little bit, so I'll have to take care of that. Um, same thing over here. This area did not fill in last year when I planted Kentucky bluegrass. I did hand water this. Um, I had a rigged up system with about four heads and it just didn't quite water over this area. So now that I have the sprinkler system, that area will fill in. Coming on to the back, we actually checked this out. We had accented borders come through and put a, an extruded concrete down with a stamped finish. Um, it's all one solid piece of concrete. So that's really cool. I look forward to adding landscape to here. So if you have any thoughts, this is the north side of the house right here. Um, this is the side <coughs> facing the east. I think I'm going to put a, a couple of pencil boxwoods over here. And then here's the back. This is mostly fescue uh, where I've filled in the gaps with some Kentucky bluegrass. So this does not get a lot of sun. I'm going to have to seed this every fall. And all of this dirt work that they did has really uh, caused some unevenness. So this, probably this fall, I'll be bringing in more dirt and re-leveling and grading this area. So here's my backyard. All freshly sprinklerized, sprinkler, sprinklerized? I guess that's a word now. Um, and has been totally regraded. Regraded. Dirt brought in. They brought in about 40 tons of dirt. Um, I've got footprints of course as soon as they did that and they ran the sprinklers and everything else it became a muddy mess so I have footprints that need to be filled in a little bit before I can seed I'm going to seed in the spring uh, we will probably be seeding I found a starter fertilizer that will put down uh, a pre-emergent slash weed kill at the same time kind of has the oh I can't think of the name of the active ingredient it's the M word that's in tenacity so we got that going for us like I said it's gonna be a lot of work it's gonna be a lot of fun this summer 
I'm getting in the yard, learning. I hope to hear from you guys. Give me your comments. Let me know what your thoughts are and what we should do next. And with that, I am signing off. Have a great day.